Campaign 2020 now on this final day of early voting here in Massachusetts. The polls closed just minutes ago and they won't reopen until Election Day. And once all the votes are counted, business owners are hoping for calm, but also preparing for any protests or demonstrations. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Boston tonight with the latest. Beth? Well, and some businesses are already taking precautions, like here at the Prudential Center, boarding up in this highly charged election season. Voter turnout could be at an all-time high, and that was evident at the early polling places today where voters were driven to be counted. With just hours to go before early voting closes out, this Newton polling place was ushering in a steady stream of energized voters. This year, it feels like really big deal. I feel like every vote counts no matter what state you're in. In Newton alone, officials say 61 percent of voters have already filled out their ballot either in person or by mail. And voters here like to say it's done. Just getting out there and voting early, making sure it's done, just gives me peace of mind. Just want to make sure that I get my vote in and that there's nothing that can get in the way. Some admit to COVID concerns on what they believe will be a crowded election day and some to ballot security. But yeah, Attorney General so Mara Healy like urges calm until the final result. I'm confident in the system. I'm confident in our ability to protect the right to vote and to ensure that votes are counted. And I just ask that people be patient so that we can allow democracy to work. I believe they're going to board the entire window area. Some businesses along Newbury Street are already thinking of boarding up ahead of the contentious election out of security concerns. The Champion Clothing Store making an unprecedented decision. I've been in retail for over a decade. I've never had to close a store on election day, so it's pretty wild. At the Prudential Center, some storefronts have already been boarded up. <laughs> and retailer Betsy Jenny will lock the gate to her merchandise, having experienced the the civil unrest of last June. Let's say I am being cautious, but I'm not overly concerned. And Mass State Police say they will have additional troopers on Election Day at state facilities and in any communities to request them. Mayor Walsh has already said this week the city has never had to prepare like this for an Election Day. Reporting live from Boston, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.